welcome back to my channel. Today I will be filming tips for photography. So I just want to point something out first and that is that I am not a professional photographer and I think the basics is what I'm focusing on in this video. So I just want to let you know that if you're already advanced in photography and you just want some more tips, this is not the video for you. If you want to learn something about photography, then keep on watching. When you start off with photography, you don't really need the best camera because you're just starting out and you're learning. But if you want to take your photography to the next level, then I do recommend you get a good camera. I have the Canon 700D and a Sigma 30mm 1.4 lens. I will link it down below for you guys. I got it from Ted's Cameras. So you can also use your phone. I have an iPhone 6, so I use that sometimes as well. To get better quality photos, change the camera quality to RAW. It will take up more space on your memory card, but it's so worth it. And I really recommend you guys do that if you want better quality photos. Now, if you're a beginner, this is going to be a bit hard for you to do. But I started off when I got my camera. I was like, nah, I don't want the automatic kind of setting. I'm going to change it to manual. The manual lets you control how your pictures look like and the sharpness and basically every kind of feature that goes into your photo. Golden hour time is a perfect time in the day to get photos. So you don't have to worry about the harsh shadows from the sun if you're filming in golden hour time, which is usually around 5 to 6.30 if it's daylight savings. Now we're going to be talking about the rule of thirds. So the rule of thirds is applied, I'm reading this off my phone because this is a really good explanation and I really think that this would kind of explain it to you in a more simple way than me trying to explain it to you just from my brain. Um, so, the rule of thirds is applied by aligning a subject, so the subject of your photo, it could be, could be anything really like a flower, a drink bottle, whatever you want to take a photo of. So the rule of thirds is applied by aligning a subject with the guidelines and their intersection points, placing the horizon on the top or bottom line, or allowing linear features in the image to flow from section to section. So beginner photographers usually place their subject in the center of the frame, but this is not where our eye really focuses on. Our eye focuses on the side bits, not the center. So when you're taking photos, don't center your subject because then it will look boring and it won't have much depth to it. You can get that grid setting on your camera so it will be easier for you to use the rule of thirds while taking photos. Protection filters are very important. So using a protection filter will lower the chances of your lens breaking if you drop your camera. So I really recommend you get a protection filter and you can also get filters that have tints in them so if you're filming in a sunny day then the shadows won't be as harsh. Um, just talk to the person at the camera store, they'll, they'll help you out. Large aperture for portraits is a very great way to get that blurry background that all the YouTubers have when they're filming their videos. Like if, can you see this? Can you see how that the fairy lights are like blurry behind me? So another tip is when you get a lens, make sure that the aperture is the lowest it can be so you have many options. And when I say large aperture for portraits, it means uh, the lower number. So like 1.4 is a large aperture. When taking a photo, you don't want everyone to see all the dirty clothes in the background unless you're filming like a commercial on laundry or something. Freaking, I don't know. But making sure you have a good background is very important because people don't get distracted by what's happening in the background. So if you have a simple background and you want your subject to be focused on, then make sure your background is very simple and just take into consideration the amount of detail you want in your background because if there's so much detail in the background, then no one will be able to focus on the subject of your photo and what you want to kind of highlight in the photo that you're taking. So don't take a million photos of one thing, just take one good one and spend a lot of time on it. I know I'm guilty of this, like taking a million photos, and this doesn't go for selfies by the way, but um, 
Taking a million photos is not good because just getting that one photo that's great and you spend time on is very, very rewarding. I hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure to leave this video a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to my channel. And if you really want to, then press the notification button thing bell if you really, really like me. My hair is so long. It's not long, it's just longer than it was before. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!